guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ariana here for yet another YouTube video. Guys, I have on a one strap shirt. That's why it looks a little weird, but it's real cute. Don't worry, it's real cute. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about swimming in a wig. Okay, so a while ago, literally probably about three years ago now, I did a video on swimming in hair extensions. Y'all, that video was great, but I've learned a lot more since then, so I am going to start doing a series on swimming in hair extensions. So today's video is swimming in a wig. All right, guys, so swimming in a wig is doable. Can you swim in a wig? Yes, for those of you who have that question. Now, it is kind of tricky. So the first type of wig we're gonna talk about is like a lace frontal wig, okay? So as you guys know, lace front wigs have evolved a whole lot. The glue is bomb, honey. The frontals are bomb. It looks like it's growing out of your scalp. So you can swim in these wigs, but but honey listen to this but but you have to make sure that your glue one is intact okay you have to make sure that your wig is glued down and that your glue is glue that is going to hold your wig down you do not want to get in the water and start swimming around and then that lace front just come off no ma'am that's not cute and you mess up the illusion for all of us when you do things like that make sure your glue is fresh make sure your lace front is tacked down securely make sure the back of your wig is tacked down securely and go swimming girl go ahead and go swimming now when you get back from swimming i recommend you taking the wig off okay you need to take the wig off one i feel like you need to wash your hair two i feel like you need to refresh your glue and three i feel like well there is no three those are the two things <laughs> So lace front wigs, make sure your wig is tacked down. Make sure when you get back, you take your wig off, you wash your hair and you reapply your wig. Depending on how hard you swim, your lace may start to lift. So honestly, I don't recommend swimming in a lace front wig. Um, I know if it's applied correctly, it can definitely stay on, but it can definitely come off as well. So I don't recommend it, but it's definitely doable if you have to do it. I also would recommend if you have like a cute scarf like something I have on right now that you could tie around your lace front just to kind of keep it flat while you're swimming I would do that um, just to kind of keep it in place because you have to think also depending on how long your hair is once hair is in water it's a little heavier it's gonna pull a little bit more so that wrap may just keep your edges intact keep your lace front intact so that way you don't have to worry about it all right guys so the second type of wig that i'm going to talk about swimming in is the type of wig that i wear which is just a wig with a closure um as you guys know if you haven't seen how i sew on my wigs i will post that video down in the description box below but as you guys know i just braid my hair and sew my wigs on I feel like if you are going to swim in a wig, this is the best way to swim in a wig. Because with me, none of my wig is glued down. It is all tied by thread. So let me tell you something, boo-boo. If I go swimming in this wig right here, it ain't going nowhere, you feel me? It ain't going nowhere. <laughs> because the whole thing is so down to my head. So it doesn't matter how heavy it gets or anything like that, it's so down and I know that it's not coming off. So I would definitely recommend swimming in this wig. If you make your own wigs, what I would do is I would use a net weaving cap versus like a dome cap. And that's what I do for my curly wigs just because I'm always washing my curly hair. Um, and so that way it has holes in it, it can breathe and it's easier to dry once you take the wig off. Caps like the dome cap are thicker and they're more like fabric based. And so it's gonna be a little harder for them to dry. They will dry, but um, they'll just hold in more water. So get a weaving cap with little itty bitty holes in it and that should be good. Also, like I said, for the lace front wig, you want to take your wig off after you go swimming in it. When you come inside, boo-boo, take that wig off because let me tell you something, your scalp is saturated with water and chlorine or salt water, whatever you're swimming in. Your wig is soaking wet and if you let that wig dry on your head, your scalp is going to be a breeding ground for bacteria and mold and nobody wants that it's going to stink it's going to be disgusting so if you are trying to like swim in a wig on vacation or something like that no 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 i think you should not <laughs> try to do a wig because you're going to have to take it off and you're gonna have to wash your hair every single time you um 
slim in your wig also you want to dry your wig completely before you put it back on your head so after you get done washing your hair conditioning your hair making sure that it's scrubbed and that it's clean and that it's dry you want to do the same for your wig wash it condition it and then you want to put it on your wig cap and just let it dry all right guys so the last wig that i'm going to talk about swimming in is like beauty supply store wigs and like synthetic wigs these wigs i do not recommend swimming in um lace the lace front wigs that i talked about in the beginning let's assume that those are human hair wigs the other type of wigs like a wig with a closure we're assuming that those are human hair wigs those will bounce back um synthetic wigs on the other hand i don't recommend it um Synthetic wigs are the type of wigs you just put on, you wear for the day, you know, you walk around, you're cute, and then you take them back off and you put them on your wig head or your wig stand, whatever you call it. You don't wear those wigs to the pool. One, you don't typically sew down a synthetic wig. So if you get into the pool and you're swimming, there's a huge chance that your wig is going to fall off and <laughs> you don't want your wig to fall off. Um, and also the hair on the wig just probably won't be able, it's probably won't be able to keep its quality. It's probably going to get really tangled, really matted, unless you plan on just throwing the wig away right after you get out the pool, then that's fine. But I don't recommend swimming in a synthetic wig. Um, it's just, it's not the move. Honey, do not try to sew on a synthetic wig and go swimming because let me tell you something, that's not a good idea, okay? Unless you plan on taking the wig off and throwing it right into the trash, you can do that. But other than that, no, okay, no. All right, guys, so in conclusion, you can swim in a wig. Just make sure that your wig is one human hair. Make sure that it's human hair. If it's human hair, it should be able to be washed, conditioned, blow dried, or air dried, and come right back to life. Two, make sure after you get out of the pool, make sure you take your wig off and you let it dry. And also make sure you take um, time to wash your hair, condition your hair, and completely blow dry your hair. Make sure your wig is dry before you put it back on your head and make sure your hair is dry. Also, like I said, if you're swimming in a lace front, you should be fine. Just make sure that your wig is secure. Just make sure that your wig is freshly applied. Make sure your glue and your frontal is in place. Also, like I said, if you want to get like a cute little tie to tie around the edge of your hair to make sure that your frontal doesn't lift, you can also do that. And like I said, I also recommend taking that off as soon as you get out of the pool so that way you can wash your hair, wash your um, scalp, wash your wig, wash all that, honey. Wash everything and let it dry. No swimming in synthetic wigs in 2019, boo-boo. We not doing that anymore. I hope we never did that. But, like, just don't even think about it. If you don't have a human hair wig, just, honey, just go swimming in your natural hair, okay? Just swimming in natural hair. Like I said, I don't really recommend swimming in a wig for vacation just because the maintenance is a whole lot. But if you're just going out to the pool with your friends or with your boo and you want to look cute and you got, you know, some nice little curly bohemian something and you just want to flip your hair in the water, honey, I don't blame you, honey, because let me tell you, I be doing it too, okay? I be doing it too. <laughs> Okay, y'all. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. Also, if you like this video and if you're excited for the Swimming in Extension series, please be sure to thumbs up this video to let me know to keep on posting these. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Okay, I don't I don't understand what you're waiting on. Go ahead and click that subscribe button right now. And you guys know I love you guys so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.